What's up guys? Welcome back to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more Thief Simulator. Now last time we left off we were checking out this hideout here and I told you that we were gonna buy it in the next episode. Left it on a bit of a cliffhanger but hey sometimes you gotta do it all right. So let's do it. I'm so excited to buy this house like I, I, I'm gonna do it. All right I bought it. Oh shit wow okay okay so what do we got? Okay, we have a computer. This is where I do my black base stuff now. Okay, I see. Got it. Got it. This is where I sleep. I can't go inside, maybe? I don't know. What's this? this okay, this is my hacking. This is where I do my jewelry stuff. Got it. Like the look of it. Let's check this house out. Whoa, can I get furniture and shit eventually? Or can I just take furniture and move it in here? Because that would kick ass. Okay, so I gotta... Well, this is my empty place so far. Uh, don't have anything in it, but I got a bathroom, and you know, hey, I got a, that's 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 good for me. I truly hope that I can just end up loading this up with stuff and like fill it up. Like that's fucking cool. Okay, and my door. Wow. Alrighty. Oh, home sweet home, guys. Looks like we got a hideout. All right, now we gotta go steal a painting replica from 202. Let's go see what's going on with that. That's gonna be... Oh, no, is it Richie? Yeah, it should be Rich Street, dear. In the twos. 202 it is. Let's go. Nope. Did I... Nope, I went the wrong way. Oh, shit, 202's up there. Alright, that was a sweet little turn. Let's go to 202. That's weird that two of one's down here and two of two's all the way up here. We'll park the car in this parking lot. Yeah, I don't go up to. Oh shit, that's 202? God, this is gonna suck. Well, let's see what we can figure out about old 202 here. I do have. I am a lot more leveled up than the last time I was here, so at least I have skills and tools that hopefully I can do. Okay, so front gate, not really an option because I can't just bust this open. I can go in here though, which I'm gonna have to. Okay, let's see what we got here. There's gotta be a yeah, camera. Okay. That camera just kind of chills there. Let me pop this open, see if there's a security thing in here maybe I can disable. Can I disable? Nope, no security stuff. Oh, wait, yeah, car gate switch. Might as well pop that bad boy open. Because we're gonna, if they have a car, I'm definitely gonna steal it because they probably got a sweet ride. There's their security guard, so I've got to get past him. How long does he stay facing that way? Hopefully a while, maybe? Maybe not? We'll see. I don't want to go, like, I, I, I don't want to wait, but I don't want to go, because the second I make it out, he's going to turn around. Um, but he's not turning around, is the thing. I'm going to go. I'm going to go, and then I'll regret it later. That's what we do. We go, and then we regret. We go, and then we regret. It's a nice little tactic. I'm calling it go and regret. Now I can watch him from far too close. Oh, there he goes. Okay. He was just waiting for me to discover his routine before he headed off. That was very, very considerate of him. Oh, is this where the painting is? Well, God, that's fucking... Okay, so they weren't sending me on something too, too hard. Oh, God, don't break the lockpick, please. Okay, well, I don't know how you would know that I burglarized you. So, that's a bunch of bullshit. Bullshit. No fucking way the cops know exactly where I am. 
Now, if they bust in here, this is some bullshit. Okay, they wouldn't have any idea. Burglary discovered just because the door was open? God, these people suck. All right, well, all we gotta do is wait for the cops to leave, and then we walk out with this, and the cops have no reason to know that I'm in here, so we're fine. And then we take the Cottage by Picasso replica. I'm just glad they didn't make me go in the damn house, because that would have been a lot worse. All right, cops, come on, search around and find nothing. they leaving? Nope, they're still just staying there. We're gonna stand here. I'm not gonna try to risk it. Okay, so it looks... Oh, nope. I thought they were leaving, but they're not. So we're just gonna all stand here probably until we find me. Because fuck me, right? It's usually how this goes. I told you, go and regret. That's what we do. Alright. Are we done? Are they leaving? think we might be done because I mean I don't know what else what else they want here yeah and we're done finally good god what's a guy gotta do to just steal a fake painting and now I just gotta walk back easy peasy He's gonna walk over there and face backward for some reason and I'm gonna walk out of here with a painting. And we both god the things fucking god that sucks. Repair costs? What the hell did they do to my car? Well, we gotta open this back up. Shit. So I'm just gonna drop this bad boy right by the gate. Try to skedaddle around back one more time. Yep, open up the damn gate. Right. Let's see. He's not coming back just yet. So we're able to just walk down the street with a replica of a priceless painting. Easy peasy. And this isn't suspicious. People, you can walk down. I'm not doing something shady, man. Okay? I'm not doing something shady. I was never doing something shady. What's shadier is me dropping the painting when you see me. If you just pretend like what you're doing is okay, people stop paying attention. Okay? You're nosy. You don't belong in this street. Okay? And now this damn guy behind me is going to be like, oh, he's doing something shady. Yeah. Moral of the story is, act confident. That's how you get away with stuff, guys. If you just grab something, it could be anything. You could grab an empty manila envelope. If you just walk confidently like you're busy, people will leave you alone and or assume that you know what you're doing. So, that's a little, little life lesson for the day. Let's just go, let's go to the junkyard, because I don't know why, because I wanted to get the hell out of here. And I meant to click hideout. Cottage by Picasso replica. Send the replica via Black Bay. Got it. Let's go to the hideout. Now, does the hideout... I know it has a garage. Yeah, so the hideout does have a mechanical thing. So I can still access stuff via my hideout. I think it just kind of totally replaces... It's like a better version of the, the first thing you get. Ooh, what's this? Vinny. Oh, hey! Finally putting a name to a face, or a face to a name, vice versa. Got the old lip scar. Classic. Classic. Should have guessed it. And now I need to send it via Black Bay. I forgot what I was doing already. Alright, Black Bay. Uh, it's going to be an other, I'm guessing. No? Is it an... Oh, it's an, is it like we're faking it like an antique? No, then where the hell is it? Our, oh, duh, art. The painting, yeah, 700 for a replica. All right, Vinny's calling. What does he want? The last house has the best electronic locks around. But make sure you're ready, because this job 
not mad at it. Okay, last house has the best electronics around. Learn electronics level three. Ooh, do I not know electronics level three yet? Is there a skill that I don't have? Let's check it out. Electronics three, even though there's electronics four and electronics five. So I need to be level 27, so I'm level 26 and I have four skill points, so. Ooh, I can, I can get appraisal level four real quick. Since I'm just here. Mine as well. All right, next I just need to level up. So it looks like we're gonna go do some stealing there, guys. Yeah, it'd be easier than trying to sell car parts. I don't need anything money-wise just yet. Let's go to Richie Rich Street and hit an easy house, man. Let's get an easy house. This house is almost too easy. I don't need a lot to level up, so I'm gonna head down to this house that I know pretty well. This bad boy right here, see what I can get into. See if I can park my car somewhere slightly weird, but not too weird. Let's see if people freak out about my car being here. Hopefully not. Um, yeah, they're, oh no, they're, they're at the house right now. God, I was already heard by them? Well, that didn't go well. Oh, they keep it locked down at night, don't they? I'm gonna have to go in the front door. That's okay. Unless it's not, because it seems like they got a pretty wide security net there. Nah, I can make it. Alright, let's go. We're just gonna walk right in. One person's asleep, the other person's just walking around aimlessly. But hopefully they'll also lay down. Yeah. Now there's only two people in this house, and I can just go in the front door, and hopefully that alarm they have doesn't go off. Great. Well, this is going swimmingly. They have a car? That would be freaking dope. No, they don't. Well, fuck them. Let's open these slowly. See if there's anything good in here. No, absolutely not. Hey, there's a guitar. Which I will take. That's a couple hundred bucks. Glad bumping into that drum set doesn't count as making noise, because that definitely would have happened. Undo this one, undo that one, undo that one, and undo that one. There we go. Easy peasy. Disabled. What else you guys? Hey, you guys got a safe. That's what I love to see. Let me close this door just in case one of you guys is a stirrer in the middle of the night. Easy does it. Easy does it. Come on. There we go. Come on. Give me an easy one. There we go. One more. Come on. There we go. Easy peasy. Ooh, antique vase. That's what I would need to see. Right. Oh, I opened up the wrong one. Dang it. Right, let's just do a quick cash check. 
see if there's any cash to be had here. It doesn't look like it, but the last thing we'll check is these drawers. These people keep a tidy house. They don't keep silverware in their drawers like most of the psychos around here. They just keep nothing in their drawers, like even bigger psychos. That's the test of a true weirdo is when you go in their house and they have nothing. Honestly, slightly alarming at this point. Should I quit while I'm ahead, or should I press my luck? Well, we know old exactly is not going to stop until he fucks something up, guys. I think we all are well aware of that. So let's not act like I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. I have to push this to the limit. But sometimes it's worth it, guys. Sometimes you find something that makes it all worth it. They have a children's room with no child and just random shit there. These people are like Russian spies or some shit because this is just an insane house of nothing. Is that a pillow? Yeah, that checks out. Yep, we're in the house of some real nut jobs. Might as well take the Golden Goblet, 33 bucks, why not? Now let's tiptoe, see if I can snatch a microwave or some big kitchen appliance, and then I will be out of here. Alright, nothing in there. Both still asleep, so let's grab that kitchen stuff. Be cool. Anything else I need to take with me? I don't know if there is anything else to take. I, I can't take this phone. I feel like that would be valuable, but hey. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. You know what? I did enough. I'll grab this stuff on the way out. Open this slowly. And yeah, I did it, guys. Oh, and I turned off their security system, so I can just waltz right out. Look at that. That is a successful steely steal. That's what we call it in the biz. We call it a steely steal. They're not burglaries anymore. All right. Let's head out and level up. And then next episode, we can figure out what happens once we get electronics level three. I'm guessing it's going to be a big pain in the ass, though. <laughs> Come on, go to the hideout and give me that level up, because I know I got enough valuable stuff to do it. That's an S right there. Yeah. S with the old exclamation mark. All right, let's get on Black Bay. See what's needed. Art. Car parts electronics, we got the keyboard. Kitchen, nothing, other, nothing, antiques. Yep, I know that antique vase will sell for 2000 That's what I like to see. And everything else we can sell at the pawn shop. So we'll go there, and then we will level up. And I think that's been a pretty good episode, guys. We Hey, my car's moved over. Hey, I like that. My truck and my other car that I stole. Maybe another one over there, too. I can't remember. I've been things things are looking up for me here. This is this is going pretty well. I don't the house is empty, which I really truly hope eventually I can get like furniture and stuff. That would be amazing. Alright, iMac, yeah. Alright, there we go. Now let's get that level up. Oh, and do I have enough money for this? Not yet, but I will soon, and then I'll be really moving. That'll be fucking awesome. Alright. Let's get this oh no, I don't need a tutorial, I need a level up. Right, electronics level three there we go well guys i'm gonna end that one here for the day if you did like this one be sure to like subscribe it really helps out the channel and of course i'll see you next time bye